We had hoped to see herd immunity by this summer, but with fewer people getting vaccines, that could now be in jeopardy. Thank you for staying with us here tonight at 530. I'm Doug Prophet. Well, the fewer people to get the shot, the longer it takes to get to herd immunity. Herd immunity is where a large part of our population is immune to a specific disease. If enough people are resistant to COVID, it has nowhere to go. Dennis Ting learning more about what health experts are saying about it. <laughs> health experts say the only way to reach herd immunity is through vaccines, but with demand dropping, they're now wondering if herd immunity is a possibility. The virus is changing too quickly. Um, it's spreading too rapidly right now, um, and new variants are popping up. Louisville Chief Health Strategist Dr. Sarah Moyer says it'll take a lot more people getting the vaccines to achieve herd immunity. But in the race against the coronavirus, the slower demand isn't a good sign. Right now, our, the vaccine is still working against all the variants that we have, um, but we don't know what the future holds. And so it might turn into more of a flu situation where it's a controllable threat, um, but still there and something that we deal with year after year. Data from the Kentucky Health Department shows Jefferson County is among the top five counties for vaccinations, with 44% receiving at least one dose. But right next door, Spencer County is in the bottom five counties, with just 17% of people having gotten at least one shot. Some of it is vaccine hesitancy. Um, I think some of it is misinformation or lack of correct information. And some of it is I think they've just decided, some folks have decided they don't want the vaccine for what, whatever reason. North Central District Health Department Public Health Director Oanya Rice says she doesn't believe the low rate is due to lack of access. But even so, she says the health department, which covers Spencer County, is continuing to make it easier for everyone to get their vaccines. We're actually looking at potentially doing businesses, um, and we're also looking at potentially going out into the schools. The North Central District Health Department is trying to get those numbers up in Spencer County. On May 20th, they're holding a clinic at the Spencer County EMS from 3 to 6 where people can show up without an appointment and they can even choose between getting the Moderna vaccine or the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Dennis Tang, WHAS 11 News.